the plan is sent to me by Femi to support the development of INAF. On this day, I had a terrible weather. The, it's very sunny and windy. I've tried to assemble my sunshade, but the wind is so strong that I only left the wireframe on the ground. Uh, on current stage, there are some vibration problems on the transition from the multi rotor to the fixed wing. It might be a bad a PID controller, or the flight controller mount is not secure enough, or the play in the tilting mechanism. I'm using 4S 850mAh battery in this flight. Uh, it is designed to fly with a 6 inch prop, and I'm pretty happy with the thrust to weight ratio. Uh, I'm flying in the acro mode for a while, and uh, I think that uh, the plane itself is not super agile, but it's okay. Uh, before Maiden, the Phoebe Manta, I've already crashed a veto plane by the strong wind. With larger surface area in the veto plane, uh, compared with um, a traditional multi rotor, it will have difficulties on maintaining its altitude and position in strong wind. Uh, so I didn't try the veto landing here, but just a normal plane landing, and you can see how shaky it is. And I barely made it to the ground uh, in one piece. Uh, start from here, it's the second flight in this day. Uh, the hovering throttle and the climb rate in the multi rotor mode is great in the Femi T1. The vertical stabilizer combined with the tilting rotor for roll correction, uh, it might be too much of your correction. Uh, in this flight, I have tried the return to home in the fixed wing. Uh, let me fast forward the video for a little bit. And I interrupt the landing and uh, switch it into the multi rotor mode and start hovering here. Because this plane, the Femi Manta, has a high thrust to weight ratio and a relatively small surface area, I think this plane is doing great in the multi rotor mode. I feel more confident in flying this. It might be better to head in towards the wind uh, in the multi rotor mode to help its your control. Uh, this is the third and the last flight in this day. In this flight, I was testing the automated transition from the fixed wind to the multi rotor. Uh, let me fast forward the video to the most interesting part. Uh, the automated transition starts from here and uh, it's starting its uh, return to home descent in the multi rotor mode. I think I've triggered the fourth landing detection. Uh, starting from here, and uh, you can see the throttle value is zero, and the descent rate is very low because the headwind. And the disarm happened here by landing disarm. I didn't manage to rearm before the crash. Uh, I have to enable the pre-arm in the radio controller and also uh, lower the throttle and uh, the switch off of the return to home. And I also need to put the plane in the airplane mode and uh, to control the gliding to make an uh, emergency landing. And uh, the VTX have also switched to the standby mode during this process. And uh, I was losing a video. And uh, this is the latest result for the uh, INAV Vito feature. Thanks for watching.